Do you have anything you want to say? And it's very interesting to bring that up because there's a document called PINA, a project for the new American century that was in 2000. It was basically created by the same people that came into office, like Dick Cheney, Richard Pearl, Wolf Lloyds, all those, uh, the neocons essentially. And they wrote in their document as a project for American dominance for the next hundred years that they need a new Pearl Harbor type of incident. And what happened about nine months into uh, George Bush, six, yeah, nine months into George Bush's turn, we have 9-11, the new Pearl Harbor, which basically galvanized the American people, closed off to wars in Afghanistan. We used it later to justify Iraq, you know, saying that Saddam had links between Al-Qaeda, which we learned not to be true. We also learned that they did not have war to mass destruction. I think the same people that we're still trusting today to give us the explanation about 9-11. So, you know, we kind of have to look at, you know, take a step back and look at these things critically. And uh, we'll just look at the evidence. Uh, I would not trust anybody like Bush, Cheney, uh, and even with when they went to the commission, they testified not under oath behind closed doors, and their testimony was not even, you know, put into the commission or released to the family members. So, you know, how can we really inherit this story that hasn't even been under any sort of scrutiny? And when it does, it falls to the shambles. You know, they don't mention the Trump Trade Center Seven. They don't mention the war games. They don't mention the foot options. They don't mention the explosions. Like, there's a lot of other things. You know, they don't mention the really.